it's your ASMR friend just checking in on you. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to Islanders. Today is going to be a very relaxing gameplay video. Now, before we get into it, just a little bit about me. I am someone who enjoys their action shooters. So, Call of Duty, Cyberpunk, Grand Theft Auto, Risk of Rain 2. You know, these intense action shooters. That's typically what I like to play. But, every now and then, I find a little gem that isn't necessarily in my favorite genre, but I can still enjoy it. And that is Islanders today. So let's do it. There are two different modes to play. Today we are going to play the high score mode. In this, well, first of all, welcome to the island. As you can see, there are no buildings, no structures. It's up to you to build. And what we have to do is get enough points to keep moving on. So this first pack that we get, we have to get over 20 points to be able to continue. So today, we can either start with the seaweed farm or the farming pack. I say we go with the farming pack, and you'll see that we have a field, two fields, and one mill. So, let's put the mill here, so I can move around the camera like this, I can move the camera like this, move the object like that. And I can turn the object. So, let's put the mill right there. Now you'll see that we have 8 of 20 points. And if we put our field right... Is it going to let us put it there? Oh wow. I didn't expect them to let that happen. And then boom. If we connect all three pieces, we get a nice score. So 26, we get to move on. Now with the next pack, we have to make over 70 points. But there's obviously no timer, so there's no rush. For me, I just kind of like to play it at my own pace, obviously, but it's usually maybe a little bit faster. I'm not really looking at, like, counting up the numbers. I'm not that great at it. I just like to kind of see what works. So, our second pack, we can do a brewery or a lumber pack. And I say we go with the brewery, because that sounds good right now. So with that, we get two hop fields, one brewery, and three fields. Now, anytime I get a field, I connect them, because they go well together, obviously. If I put another one there. Some good points there. And let's put this right there. And we'll connect the two hops. Like that, and let's put the brewery that's close there. That should do it. All right, barely, but we did it. So, our third pack either city or lumber. 
And I say we go with the city pack. So, that's three mansions, one house, one city center, and one hop field. Let's plant that hop field first, shall we? But actually, let's put it like there. That made some decent points. Now, the city center can get you a really decent amount. I wonder. Yeah, let's put it right there. Gets us a total of 19 for that. And if we put the mansions close to it, they're going to appreciate that. So. Put that there. Come on, come on, come on. It's not as a... Um, as precise as you would like, especially playing with a controller, but there we go. Now they're connected, we get a decent amount of points for that. And oh, let's put it right there then, very nice. Yeah, why not? Well, mm. Why not? And the house we can put right here. So, oh, wait a minute. Okay. We, we got it. So, you can see that you kind of have the freedom to put them where you like, but obviously, your placement is crucial. So, our next pack lumber. Or the shaman. Let's go with the shaman. And that will give us one hop field, one house, three mansions, and one shaman. Now if you see, obviously we can't put that shaman down there, but if we did, we're gonna lose ten points if we put it close to the city center. So if we get out of that range. I saw it. Didn't I see 21? Oh, come on, come on. There we go. That's a decent spot. Kind of interrupts my field, but it's a good amount of points, so it's worth it. Yep. Well. Let's see. Oh, man. Oh, okay. All right, that's nice. And then, let's see where this house goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on. Put it right there. Still have three mansions, so we're pretty good. Yes. I like putting it there. Small points, but pretty good spot, I think. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Come on. Well, let's move this camera. No, oh, sorry. It's, it's like just one little movement in it go so fast. So, put that one right there. And put this house or this last mansion right like that. So now we get a lumber pack or the fisher. Let's go with the lumber pack. Boy. So, we get one sawmill, one lumberjack, one mansion, one house, 
one city center and one hot field. Let's put the hot field down first. Oh, there we go. Decent amount of points for that. So, if I wanted to, we could move to a new island. But, I feel like we can still do some work here. So, obviously if we put the city center, we lose way more points than it would be possibly be worth. But, if we put it... Now, let's put it on its own all the way out here. And maybe we can build around it when the time comes. Any points for the saw? Hmm, looks like no extra points if we put it somewhere. Well, let's look at the lumberjack first then. Yeah, it's a nice little spot right there. Another mansion. Yeah. Alright, that gave us a pretty decent amount. Another house. Let's put it right there. Okay. So, we would need to get 11 points, so yeah. Put that sawmill right there. Okay, well, whoops, but if I press X, I think we'll, we can move on. So we escaped a game over there, because I did not have enough points, but because I unlocked the island, I can move on. But obviously, there's no going back. Well, let me zoom on to this. All right, an interesting island. I have not been to one like this. Let's see what they start us with. Seaweed farm or lumberback? Let's do the lumberback. So, get a sawmill and two lumberjacks. And, yeah, if we connect it there, we get a lot of nice points. And obviously, Put that one too close, it'll lose six points. Let's see where the sawmill can go. Can we get any more points if we put it somewhere else? No. Well then, let's get it as tight as possible there. Oh. Okay. Plant that. feel good about putting it there. We'll get a nice little spot, nice little score, and our next pack. Let's go with the brewery. Because every village should have a good brewery, right? So, let's see if we get it any closer. So, pretty much anywhere. See how close we can get. There we go. That's pretty good. Now, lumberjack, if we put it within another lumberjack, it's just not gonna like it. So, another one to put on the outskirts, but we get pretty decent money because it's next to all those trees. And obviously, we're gonna want to do the same thing with that sawmill. Let's put it on this side. I'm going to move my camera. Oh. Come on. Alright, that looks good. And these hop fields. Yeah. Well, let's see. Yeah, we'll put it. 
there. Put the second one right there. And we have another sawmill that maybe I'll put back here. All right, doing pretty decent. We're getting some nice placement. Let's see what the other pack is. Hmm. Let's go with the city pack. So, with that, we get two mansions, three houses, and one city center. So, we're only going to, it looks like, a maximum of 20. So I said we put it there. Well, let's try to get it. Yeah, there we go. Try to get it as close to everything as possible. And, looks like we'll get some decent points for the mansion there. So, we'll put it there. Alright. So we could actually open up another pack. Let's do the shaman. So now it just adds more. So we have two shaman, one lumberjack, two mansions, three houses, and two hop fields. So let's see. Mm. Hmm. There. No. Oh, yep. Easy decision there. Good amount of points. Keep that going. Yep. And the slumberjack. They don't like to be next to each other. So another one that we can kind of put a little further. Let's see, the shaman, oh man, doesn't like to be near anything, does it? Oh, wait a minute now. Yep, even better. Look at that. That's very good. I like that. Okay, so now, see, I'm learning too. I could just open another pack and then see what my options are before I start building things. We haven't done Fisher, so let's do the Fisher one. So we have two Fishers that they have to go in the water like this. Maybe we'll just put it there because we'll get points up top. And I wonder there's a spot we can do. Yeah, look at that. Oh, wait a minute. Still getting negative 11. So if we put it there. All right. Still getting those good points. All right. And we still have a lot we can work with. Well, let's see the city center. Definitely don't want to take those kind of hits in numbers. If we put it all the way back here, get a positive 15. That's pretty good. And the shaman, hmm, oh, wait a minute, yep, there we go, all right, I'm liking this island, I was kind of worried about this one, I thought, just with the different levels and all of this, that maybe it wasn't going to work out so well, but look at it, it's huge, we can put stuff over here, can put stuff over there if we start expanding. Yeah, it's a big one. Let's see about this lumberjack, shall we? Hmm. Okay. Can we can we get it on a rock? Oh, there we go. Yeah, why not? Some good points there and finds a spot. We still have four houses and three mansions, so we're sitting pretty good. The mansions like to be next to the city, so let's do that. 
There we go. Another pack. Let's open that one up. The fountain. Okay, now I know we're doing good. We got something fun here. Oh. So we get two fountains, three mansions, five houses, one city center, and one hop field. Well, let's get rid of this hop field. I'm sorry. Let's place this hop field now. I like that. That's a nice boost of numbers. And that looks good to me, actually. So we'll do that. Let's see. So fountains also don't like to be next to each other. That's fine. We'll put it next to the other city center. But actually, I wonder if we put another city center somewhere else. Like that. And a fountain next to it. Come on. Because then we can start building over here. Small little patches here and there. But we're starting to get a little bigger. This is kind of exciting. And you know what? That's going to pull us over, so there. Let's, let's open that new pack. I don't think we've had a hut yet, so let's do that. Mm. We get two huts and one fisher. Now we have five mansions and five houses. Now this fisher Yeah, let's put it over here. Mm -hmm. All right, pretty good score. And let's see what a mansion looks like up here. Okay, yeah, that feels good. Now this hut doesn't like to be next to these things. I can see. Hmm. I wonder if... Look at that. It looks very happy right there, doesn't it? So we'll do that. Nice little points. It's kind of off on its own where it likes to be. Let's go back to this side. Oh, jackpot right there. Looks good to me. And then, yeah. Oh, not too far there. Yes, very good. All right. I might as well just keep building on that. It's working good so far. <laughs> yeah, let's put that. I think that's fine. I mean, that got us a new pack, so. But I'm gonna put this house here before. Just because that's good points. And now, if we get in trouble, I hope, I hope that wasn't just a singularity, that we can move on to another island. But let's keep building here. And now that we have that kind of freedom, yeah, let's, let's put a hut down there. Nice little score. And kind of build this city up. We'll put that right there. Very nice. And 
Why not keep connecting? And we'll open another pack. I haven't seen a park yet. So that gives us two parks, one hut, one shaman, and four mansions. Now, let's move that. Let's put another one right there. Nice little 19 points there. And I don't know. That looks good actually. Let's see this park. So this park doesn't want to be by those things. Well, why not put it over here? I saw 10. There we go. Nice little spot. Yeah. Oh. Well then. Let's look at that. Yeah, we're going to lose five points with that, but we're also getting a really nice amount. So I think that trade-off is actually kind of worth it. We'll see, right? Hmm. Why was I getting 18 for that? Wasn't I? Oh, yeah, but I'm... Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. So really, it's more like 14. Well, but then I get eight. I don't know. That's maybe another sacrifice we can do. Yeah. Okay. Wait, we have another pack to pick. A plateau. All right. Well, that gives us two houses. Three mansions, one shaman, one hut, one park, and one plateau. This thing is huge. I wonder... Right there looks good. Oh yeah, and then we got ten more points of that. And if we do a park right there... But... Right there. Still building those points, so we're we're doing all right. Let's see about the shaman. Okay. You know, it's kind of just this nice spot to put it there. Why not? That fits well. And let's see what a house would look like over here. Can't build that. Oh. Yeah. And a mansion right next to it. If we can. Yeah. All right. And now another pack to unlock. Ooh, tower. So I have actually not gotten this far. So this is fun. I mean, it's been fun anyway, but it's something new and exciting for me. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. That's 17. Yeah, we're putting it right there. Boom. That was a nice little chunk. And if we put a fountain up here, it makes it nice and fancy, doesn't it? Oh, no. Come on, where's that spot? Yep. Boom. And now, got another why not? That plateau. 
plateau has a fun little spot, doesn't it? Right next to the beach and everything. Oh, can we tuck? Yes. Yeah, we're going to lose two points up there, but it's such a nice little spot, I think. Okay. The shaman now. Don't put it next to a city center. How about next to a fisher? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Nice little spot there. Maybe we can build on putting the houses here. Yeah. Boom. And then move this camera. Flip that. And look at that. And another pack. Oh, yeah, we're gonna do the warehouse. Something new. I'm gonna guess that this is a huge structure. Not as big, but still pretty big. Oh, wait a minute. Where was that 25? I know I saw it. Am I crazy? Hmm. Oh, yep. Right there. And then, of this mansion, let's take a look at that. Well, let's look with the house first. Yeah. Build that house first. All right, and yeah, I'm really liking that I can just kind of stack these cities like this. Decent amount of points for all of them. Let's see. Breathing is important. Maybe, okay, actually, let's flip it like this, see if that does something, yeah, okay, not a bad spot, and if I put this one here, will that do anything, or here, what about over here? Now I know that 10 was tempting, but if we can stack it better, that might help out with putting pieces down later. Like, like this, right? Yeah, we're gonna do that. And put that into there. Boom. So, well, this is very nice to play right now. You know, the reason I have a switch light is so that I can play anywhere. So I could definitely see just laying down on your bed or on your couch just chill into this game and obviously if you have the music in the game or maybe your own kind of chill music this would be a good companion with it so yeah you should check it out a circus well come on our people deserve to have entertainment now let's just see what that looks like Oh wow, the circus does not want to be anywhere near cities, so <laughs> what if we put it out here, can we, yeah we got zero points, how about like this, circus island, nope, okay, 
Man, ooh. I had, oh, wait a minute. It just doesn't like to be next to these. But over here, it's all right. Hmm. Okay. I mean, that's a lot of points. And then, how about the city center? For when we expand that way more. Another little hut we can put. Hmm. Honestly, I mean, I kind of like that, but maybe let's see what we can do with these houses first. I mean, hey, you know, got to build up. And I'm hoping we can, maybe if we do this. Yeah. All right. That works. Works for me. All right. Okay. Looks like. This is a good spot for a mansion. Let's turn it and connect it. Yep, that was good. Now let's see about this park. Nope, 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 nope. Mm -hmm. Yes, right there. This is going pretty nice. A gold mine. I mean, now we're getting some fun options every time. Oh man. Jewelry store doesn't like being next to many things. What do they just want to be by themselves? Look at that. What the heck? Let's look at the gold line first. Is that just like going to take negative 20 no matter where it goes? Oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh, well, do I? I didn't realize. Yep, right there. Look at that. Look at that, that is a gold mine. That was a sweet spot to put it. All right, now let's look at this jewelry. Hmm, can we move that? I'm assuming, oh, well, we could, but it doesn't want to do that. I wonder though if it's like, mm, yep. Oh my god. Not, not a good spot for that. Mm. Let's mess with that later. Let's go to the old reliable with these houses here. good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's actually a pretty nice spot. Looks good to me. And 
mansion down here. Is that all right? Let's just see what that looks like over here. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Then another hut. Nice little spot to put it. Okay. Let's see what this looks like over here. Oh. Yep. I wonder though. Hmm. No, let's try to get that. Wasn't that 18? Did I not see 18? Was it 17? 17 highest. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Now, this jewelry spot. Man. It just does not really want to go anywhere. So I think really what that means, right? It's going to do plus 20 minus 15. So I would get five points. So I think that would work. No, that's not how it works. Okay. My mistake. We're going to go to the next island. Well, honestly, that's a nice little touch. I think I, I've talked about, you know, it's these little things these games do that makes me appreciate them. So, like, I get to keep playing, even though I made a mistake in my last run, and I get to move on. Because I opened that island up, they're allowing me to do that. I just think that's pretty cool. So let's see what we start with brick industry. Let's see what this is about. Two sand pits and a brickyard. Okay, so yeah, we're going to start on the sand. Looks like kind of anywhere it's nine. Is that a ten point there, I thought? Maybe not. Okay, let's and what's that going to do? Well, let's put that. I don't know why. It just kind of looks good right there. Okay, yep. I figured. Sand pit next to it. That'd be good. And, oh, it doesn't like to be next to each other. So that's all right. We'll move it there. Yes, all right. We unlocked another pack. Mm, let's go with the lumber pack. So, two more sand pits, one sawmill, and a lumberjack. Wow, okay. Um, that looks good to me right there. And then... Can put it like that. Look at that. Another one over here. Nicely done. All right. Let's open another pack before we start building. A city pack, definitely. Okay. I like. Stacking houses, I can tell that that is a good way to get some, some points. Does it just not like the sand? Kind of anywhere I put it there. 
Let's start with the city center. Let's kind of tuck that back as far as we can. And we'll put you kind of over here. Why not over here? That way it's getting money, or points, I should say. Another sawmill. Okay, that looks good. All right, we're looking good. Put a house right next to the city center. And another house. And we get another pack. Let's go with the brew. Let's see what that brewery looks like on sand. Okay. Kind of think. Maybe. All right. Three points. Very little, but it's kind of in a good spot, I think. Another sand pit that we'll put away from the other ones far enough away yeah there we go i forgot about this little thing up here Let's see what the house looks like why not, right? Okay, so that was a nine points. Let's see what we can do with the sawmill. Oh, don't want to put it there. What about... Okay, I'm going to move the camera. Sorry if the camera is not as smooth. It's kind of hard to navigate it. Right there looks good to me. And let's look at these fields. Yeah. Put one right there. Oh, I thought we had two. Just one. Okay. And this mansion. Maybe we'll look at that later. What does the house look like right now? Yeah. That looks good. This mansion, if we put it... Hmm, I wonder, maybe up here, yeah, that looks good, stack it up, and then another one, just want to get it in a good spot there. And yeah, there we go. Another pack. Very good. Let's go with the farming pack. And if we put field down here. Oh, no, field will not go in the sand. It goes up there. So maybe we can get, oh no, no, can't do it anywhere there, no, alright, well, I mean, can't really do anything else, so, three points, it's alright. And then, if we put this here, 
Well, let's see what a house does. Tetris almost. <laughs> so that was a good little spot. And then we can put a mansion there. We put another one up here. Maybe. Maybe. Oh man. Wait. Maybe if we turn it like that. No. Not gonna go. Oh. Let's see what the sawmill is, or just the mill, just a regular old mill, and that does not want to go on the sand, so we're going to have to put it up here, or over here, yeah, right there, now we have three mansions to work with. Let's just put one right there, another one there, well, hmm, well this didn't work out so well, but there it is, that's the end of it, so once you're done you can take a picture your last island. I like the one before. That was working pretty nice. But hey, not a terrible start to a new to a new village. I mean they can work with that. Well that's it. That is all for today. I just wanted to play and chill with this game. I think that if you are someone that enjoys a good, relaxing, lounge-worthy game, you should check this out. I think you'll enjoy it. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night.